So hello, and uh, yeah, this is going to be another one of these Friday My Thoughts, um, or whenever it goes out, but it's going to be a Friday. Um, as you know, I do a few reviews on things every so often, and um, at the moment, coming up to Christmas and over Christmas period, which we are in Christmas at the moment when I'm doing this video, uh, you're going to see a few pictures of me from the past, from the future maybe, just to explain what we're doing with this. Jackery sent me another power station out. And this is the big beast. This is the Jackery 1000 power station. Um, you've seen the 240 power station that I put out a review a few weeks ago, or a few months ago even. Um, and then we did the 500 uh, power station. Again, both very usable. I'm actually using my little 240 power station in the front of the van to run my fridge. It's just solely running my fridge at the moment. We've been away for days and it's still running the fridge. Um, no problem whatsoever. Um, it's a compressor fridge so it doesn't draw a big massive output um, but nevertheless it is running that I could use the big one but I'm keeping the big one inside the van for using all my incendiary items so I've got uh, lights I charge up all these USB lights and things that I carry around in the van the reason is it's winter time now I've got solar panel on the roof as I've mentioned in the reviews before and I will put the links up to the reviews before because I'm not going to repeat myself over and over again about the solar panels and stuff like that that you can get with these jackery items um, so if you watch the other reviews on the one on the 240 and the 500 you'll see how I use them um, this is a little bit more of a beast this means I can use it for a lot of other reasons apart from charging all my lights like I say it's winter uh, I've not got a lot of solar power whatsoever in the van the jack the, the leisure battery in the van is running a bit low I'm not doing the mileage to keep it on top charge and uh, it's getting no sun it's very very gray outside and it's been gray for the last four days so we're not going to get any power um, from the sun uh, to charge these you know to charge my van leisure battery up so having something like this in the van that I can use and charge all my items my lights I've got my phone I charge my phone I'm charging my power bank at the moment that I've been using overnight for charge my phone I've been at my sister's so I've been taking a little power bank in um, so yeah I, I'm using it to charge everything that I, I own I've got my uh, drone batteries my camera batteries that's been charging through there it's got two um, 230 volt uh, 1000 watt output um, pure shine pure sine wave uh, plug sockets so they're 13 you know 13 amp plug sockets that run off the AC so I can have two of them plugged in at a time um, I've also got two USB sockets on the front they're USB 3 so they put out quite a lot of power and I've also got two um, USB C 5 volt 2.4 amp sockets as well and they're very fast charging especially for my phone and stuff like that so if you've got USB to USB C it's really really quick uh, you've also got a 12 volt socket on there as well a standard so you can plug in another USB you know 12 volt socket if you want or charge you know like the car chargers the battery chargers the battery pumps for doing your tires and things like that anything can plug into there really quite easily you've got the input on there as well i'm not going to keep explaining everything but the input in there you can plug your solar panel into um, i'll put a link up for the solar panel as well but it also comes with this with it being a thousand watt charger you might want a little bit more power to charge it up and they also send you one of these if i can get it out of the box because i've not had it out yet this is a twin socket um, it basically plugs into the twin socket output on the front of the charger there and then you can plug in two of the 100 watt solar panels so you can put 200 watts of solar into this beast when the sun's out to give you a boost so it actually comes with this little uh, twin charger point port that goes in the front of the jackery um, and like I say it, it doubles it up so you can have two solar panels now I'm going to ask the question but if I've got this plugged in I'm going to ask Jackery, and if I ask Jackery and they get back to me before I put this video out, I'll put the answer up on the screen for you. But if I've got one of these that goes into the red and black port on the front, and I put two solar panels on the front of this, it still means there's another solar panel socket on the side, which means can I plug in three 100 watt solar panels? If I can, you're going to get a well of a good boost, uh, especially if you live in a country that's got loads of sunshine. You wouldn't have to use anything else, only that. But yeah, this takes two and that takes one. So if I can get that up to three solar panels, that would be brilliant. But I will ask the question to see if it's safe. Uh, I could probably read it in the manual, which I've got around somewhere. It comes with a manual, um, but the manual's all reading and I don't do a lot of reading. Um, it also comes with this. This is a 12 volt socket. So there's a, maybe there's a reason you can use this. Maybe you can plug this into that port. You can run this off your car battery when you're driving along and you can have two solar panels plugged into it as well. I don't know. You know, it's another way of doing it. But this is an actual uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter socket. 
and this can be plugged into the van into your car into your boat into whatever you whatever you're driving whatever it is that produces 12 volts and this will charge that up as well which is what i tend to do in the van uh, at the moment i'm running my laptop off of it i've got the laptop on and i've got the screen on with a jackery page and i'm just going to try and explain a little bit of what it does and what we've got in it um it's like i said it's a thousand watt uh, continuous and a 2000 watt surge power now um, the reason we've got this in the van is because my wife has curly hair she doesn't like her curly hair she likes to straighten her hair so when we're out and we're walking it gets a bit damp and she starts to curl and freeze up on the bottom corners um, she can plug in the hair dryer so i've got her a small uh, 900 watt hair dryer that will plug into there she can also plug in her straighteners and she can straighten her hair at the same time now as i'm talking i'm going to chop into small clips of me in the past me in the future because I've, I've done certain things with this jackery um, and i wanted to show you when i'm doing you know when and when i aren't doing them so i'll chop over and quickly show you what she's doing with her hair straighteners and just to prove how they work another handy thing you can do with these uh, big jackeries is i can do my chin make sure i get some rid of some of the fur because we need to And what's even better is when you're videoing yourself, you can actually see yourself doing it. Sorted. So we've come up with another use as well. Um, Denise has always struggled doing her hair and that when we come out in the van. And when she's out for a few days, like yesterday, it was really, there's quite a lot of moisture it's around really in the air. The uh, there's a lot of moisture and stuff in the air and it causes her hair to go a bit frizzy and curly. And she's never been able to straighten it before. But with using the jackery, which is down here, she can now have a little pair of curling tongs or a little pair of straighteners and, and a hair dryer. Tiny. They are smaller ones, but your ones will work, the big ones will work as well. And uh, it's drawing about, well, it says it's drawing 48 watts, which is absolutely nothing. So she can even use her big ones at home. Um, I'm sure you can even get some GHDs on there. So if you it really just take a bit of the frizz and out. It is, it just takes a bit of the frizz out of her hair. Which is just how she likes to be. She feels a lot more comfortable <laughs> once she's got her hair done. And look at this. If you've got tinted windows in the van, you can even use the van <laughs> to see what you're doing. How cool you is that? You use your phone or the mirror. Yeah. Or you can use the mirror <laughs> the on the front. Mirror. So yeah, different ways of using the jackery. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommended by me, that's for sure. Give it 10 minutes. And if you really get serious and you really get wet and say you end up in the sea or you end up getting caught in a shower a little travel hair dryer as well now i actually bought this one for denise because hers is a 2000 watt and it's just too big for the thousand watt jackery um, so this is a 950 watt output and in all fairness it's got quite a blowing power and this works just as well plug it in fire it up Or high power. Say so that's drawing 900 and something watts, but in all fairness, that's the hairdryer and the straighteners working at the same time. So, yeah, if you really do get wet, absolutely fantastic idea having something like this in the van that you can actually dry your hair, you can even go and have a shower or go and if you're in the sea swimming. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. All done? Not curly at the front. All done, not curly at the front. Do you need a blow dry? <laughs> no, not today, thank you. <laughs> we also tried to use it around the home as well. Um, we used the hoover. I got the hoover out, I got the hoover out in the kitchen. So don't judge me. Um, this is another one of these reasons of why this Jackery 1000 watt power hook comes in very much handy. The wife's maybe popped to the shop, I've got a power cut, don't know what to do. I know what I'll do. Let's do some hoovering. But hang on a minute, I've got no power. Yes, I have. This is the good thing. I can plug in my hoover, turn on the power, and I can get myself a little bit of hoovering done while the wife's away. Not only that, not only that, maybe you're one of these people that likes to hoover their car. So, how are you going to hoover your car if you can't get your car on the driveway and you can't get your car anywhere near any electric? I'll show you how. So first of all, I'd put my coat on. Once I've got my coat on, I'll bring the jackery out. Once the jackery's out, I'll bring the hoover out. Voila, one hoover. Now this is my van, I know, but it's not, uh, not just about the van. You can do it in your car or anywhere. So we plug her in, we tilt her down. 
and we hoover the van. Almost simple. Just gets easier and easier, doesn't it? Job's done. Or I can even do the inside of my car. Jack her on the front seat, go and get the hoover. One hoover, one power supply, and away we go. You might be thinking, well, it's an expensive way to hoover your car, but it's not just that, is it? It's all the other things you can do with it. So I'll show you a few others as we go through time. So something like this is really handy if you live in a house that's got a driveway that's a long, long way away, and you've got to park a long way from power sockets, or you've got a boat, say, and you want to go and hoover the boat and stuff like that, and you've got no way of getting a power socket down there, you can actually carry this down, put it on your boat, and hoover the boat out and stuff like that. So it's really, really handy for things like that. Um, the other thing we've used it for is a microwave. So we've done a little bit of time travel. We've jumped in the future and uh, I just thought I'd just mention this as well. Denise said to me this morning, I must hoover my car out. So, simple as it is, I gave her the jackery. Even a woman can use it. It's not hard. Uh, excuse me. What are you doing? Checking my oil. <laughs> you know, being a woman and all that. Cheek of it. Right, this is needed doing for a long time. My car is a bit of a pigsty and it's not normally this bad. But the jackery, it is quite heavy to move around, but I'm not going up a hill or anything. And this is just really to show that, you know, different things that you can use it for if you were at home as well. You don't have to be a photographer, you don't have to be off in a van. Use it at home. Have it in your garage. Brilliant. Here we go. We've got a 750 watt microwave. Now it means I could have, if I had a bigger van, I could have a microwave in the van. Or if you live on a boat or you've got a big motorhome, you can have a microwave in there. You can run a microwave off of this and then charge this back up with the solar power. So I'm gonna do the manly bit and I'm gonna show you how to plug the microwave in. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah, uh, this is the other thing. So we've got the microwave, the microwave's on at the moment. And uh, like I say, if we run out of power or you need to do anything, or you can even take your microwave into your van or you can even take your microwave in your car and go camping with it and put it in the boot of the car. I know it's random, but it works. So, power on. You hear the um, inverter kick in every time you put the power on. It's now on, and uh, we should have power in the microwave. Now, I'm not gonna leave the microwave on, obviously because there's nothing in it, um, but I just wanted to show you that you do get power from it. If I turn that off, you'll see I've got no power. All right, so as soon as you turn it on, kicks in, and I've got power. So, there's proof it's running off of the um, inverter in the uh, jackery. Now, it's just kicked in, it's blowing some fan, so it's obviously kicking out some kilowatts. Uh, so it obviously needs a little bit of energy to boost these things when it's running them. But yeah, it's gone quiet again, and that's it. I just wanted to prove that that works. Um, we don't actually need the microwave on at the moment. Uh, another idea I came up with, 
um, was maybe you've got to use power tools. Maybe you've got to run down the garden. You've got to run down the field. You've got to go out to the garage, out to the shed, again, on your boat at the back of the motorhome. And you've got to use some power tools, a drill, a jigsaw or something like that. I took this down the bottom of the garden. I got my electric drill out, plugged the electric drill in, and I've got instant power to do anything I need. Drill holes in the wall, cut, cut bits of wood off and things like that. How about you're at the bottom of the garden, you need to drill a hole in the wall and you've got no power. You've got no extension lead. You live on a really big place with no, no way of getting to the bottom of the garden with your power. How about this? Get your drill. Oh, you've got to turn it on first. <laughs> Get a drill. I've now got a drill that I can use anywhere I want. How cool is that? Brilliant. So there's a couple of simple ways you can use it. You know what it's like when you've got an extension lead and you're rolling out your extension lead and it's wrapped all around everything, getting twisted up in the garden, in the bushes and the hedges and stuff like that, and you just want to take a bit of power down to drill a couple of holes in your shed or your garage. Absolutely brilliant idea. Never thought about that before. It just came to me as I was doing the hoovering in the car. So yeah, really good idea. But yeah, I'll see you back in time or in forward in time, or I'll see you another time when we've got another idea to show you. So you've got instant power for power tools. Again, it's something that you wouldn't think of using because if you think of this as a little item for charging your phone and a few lights, it's pretty wasted. But this can really be used for a lot of different items. You can probably find you can use the 500 watt one as well uh, for a lot of the items, but this will take everything, like say curling tongs, straighteners, and a small hairdryer uh, or travel hairdryer. So it's, it's really got the output to do that. And it's lasting. We've been messing around with this for ages and ages and ages. It's still on 92%. And I've had all sorts of things plugged into it and we haven't even touched it for charging yet. And it's, it's charging everything, like say power banks and all sorts. So it is really quite good. The good thing with Jackery as well, the good thing with Ash Jackery as well is that if you're not using them, they don't run down on the power. The power still stays fully charged. Um, they'll last an ages and ages and ages. I've got the 500 in the boot. It's been in the boot for a long, long, long time, and it's still on 99% or 100%. It's still on full charge, so it's not going anywhere. Right, let's have a quick flick through what we've got on here, and uh, I'll see if I can tell you a little bit about it. Uh, it features a, 2000, uh, a 1002 watt amp hour lithium battery um, it's got multiple usbs which i've explained to you. you've got your two usb c's you've got your two uh, standard usb 3 port and you've also got a 12 volt 10 amp cigar socket on the front as well uh, let's have a look and see what else we've got on here for you i can tell you about uh, truly portable variable yet yeah. um, they reckon it can use a coffee maker see there's something else you can have a, a little coffee machine in your van or in your bus in your in your boat in your shed even in your garage you can take a coffee machine out there and you can uh, use this for charging up your coffee machine or running your coffee machine it reckons it'll last 88 minutes so that's a lot of coffee you can drink um, they also reckon you can use an electric grill on it and of course if you've got a grill that's under a thousand watts you can power a grill on it so you're going to get 50 minutes of a use of a power grill and that's chances are it's quite a powerful machine as well um, electric blankets now i hadn't even thought about that you're in the van it's freezing cold you need a little bit of warmth the heater won't work because you run out of diesel blah blah whatever it is you might not even have a heater an electric blanket wrap up warm an absolute lifesaver so even if you use this once in your entire life and you're stuck in a stove storm and you've got an electric blanket in the back it could save your life How's that for something interesting? Uh, travel mugs. Yep, you can get these electrical chargeable travel mugs. I've even seen a small electric kettle. Now, most kettles are 2 kilowatt, which is 2,000 watts. I've seen an electric kettle, which is 650 watts. I'm going to treat myself to a little electric kettle that I can keep in the van. So if I run out of gas for any reason, I can still make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Absolutely fantastic idea. Um, I've explained the solar charging ports. Um, we've got import input at the front so you can charge it through solar panel you can charge it through the car charger that comes with it and you can also charge it through the electric uh, charger that comes with it which is obviously at home because i've got no way of charging it for in the van like that so i can charge it at home from the electric socket which is brilliant solar panels my solar panels in the boot at the moment uh, i might take a picture of it for you and do a little bit of b-roll for it and get it out and just show you it on the wall even though it's gray outside but i will plug it in just to give you an idea of what you can do and show you what it looks like so i'll probably clip over to that while i'm talking and you'll see the solar panel plugged into it um, and like i said this will take two solar panels brilliant so you can get 200 watts of solar in there uh, what else have we got up on the screen uh, i just watched the screen because my memory is not great as i'm getting older so it's a lot easier for me to see what i've got on the screen uh, dimensions let's give you some sizes it is a 11 point 
one inches high, 11 inches high. That's just short of 300 mil. And it's 13.1 inches long and it's 9.2 inches wide. So it's, it's a bit of a chunk, but you're, you're talking about a thousand watt battery. You know, it's a, it's a big, it's a big unit in there. Um, it's not the tiniest of things. What else can we tell you about this? Uh, they do three delivery. This retails at around a thousand pound. There are some Amazon links. I'll put some Amazon links in the uh, description below to give you an idea um, of the prices in the UK. I think they're about eight nine nine at the moment when this video goes out, and we are on the twenty seventh of December at the moment when I'm recording this. Um, I'm just going to see on the screen if there's anything I'm missing. Oh, we've got a weight on here. It weighs in at twenty two pounds. So there's a little bit of weight to it, but it's not the heaviest thing on the planet. You know, it's not like a, a lead acid battery. It's a lithium battery, so it's a lot lighter than what um, you would normally get from that sort of an output. Um, just flicking through the screen, trying to see if there's anything else I can explain. We've got a laptop. It reckons it will charge a laptop eight times. My laptop's been plugged in it's loads of times and it's no problem at all. You can use it on pressure cookers, mini fridge, mini grill, ice shavers, whatever an ice shaver is. I think that makes ice cubes in it. Blenders, cameras, phones, TV. You can watch a TV using it. I plug the TV in. And I was going to do that at home, but I had that many plugs at home. I couldn't get the plug out of the back of the TV. Blah, blah, blah. The solar panels, I will do a quick explanation on the solar panel. The solar panel's got a USB socket in the back as well. So if the sun's out and you're charging this and you don't want to draw power from this, you can actually plug USB socket straight in the back of the solar panel as well, which is really, really good. There's an umpteen, umpteen ways to use this thing. There's an umpteen videos on this thing. But what I wanted to do is just show you different ways different ways that you can actually use this. You know, it wasn't just for charging your drone and charging your batteries in the van. There are so many other ways to use this and I'm quite impressed with it. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. You've seen some video clips of me using it in different ways. If I come up with any other ideas between now and the time I actually put the video out, I'll chuck a picture of me in the future. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out Jackery's website. They've got an American website. It's basically an American brand. It's an American website. But if you go onto the Amazon, the Amazon gives you the UK versions. And uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Highly recommended. Love it to death. And uh, it's going to go everywhere with me. So don't forget to watch my normal videos on a Wednesday and a Sunday. We do landscape photography most of the time. And I do the reviews or my, not even a review. It's more my thoughts. And my thoughts on this is brilliant. Um, so it's my thought Friday. See you next time. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Ciao for now. See you again. Bye. Just a quick one. Just a quick one. I just thought of something else that this thing's got and I wanted to show you. There is actually a torch on the end of it as well. So if you're in a blackout, um, if you're in a blackout and you can't find your way around, you've got a little torch on there. And talking of blackouts, I know some people live in countries where you have a lot of power cuts and a lot of power outs and something we talked about me and denise my wife when we were at home this would be really handy if you have a blackout and you've had no power and you've had a power cut and you need to make yourself a brew or a cup of tea or you need to warm water or even have a wash there is a possible use for this just sitting in the household at home and just forget about it. it's in the cupboard it's there for an emergency it's there for a backup it's it's a way that you can actually get warm water or even some warm food uh, in a power cut. Um, when I was away a few weeks ago, I was up in the Yorkshire Dales. We had a massive storm. Uh, storm Arwen came through. It wiped out a lot of trees. A lot of power lines went down and Denise was in the dark for about five hours. If she had this at home, she could have still made herself a cup of tea. She could have still put the microwave on, made some scrambled eggs, whatever it is she needed to do. She could have got by for four, you know, four or five hours without a problem. So yeah, just wanted to mention that there is a light on the end of it. But one of the biggest things for me is you can use this in a power cut and just keep it in in the in the garage at home or in your cupboard in, in you know indoors and if you do have a power cut if you live in one of these countries where you get a lot of power outs again it could be a lifesaver it could be a, an absolute game changer so highly recommended for that and i think for having a thousand pound unit sitting around the house that could you know really potentially be there for you when you need it i think it's a really good one. so yeah i just wanted to add that on the end definitely go in now until i think of something else <laughs> ciao bye